things I found, Joe, was that um, by using self decode, I found that I was I had a pre predisposition to not processing vitamin B twelve very well mm. and not recycling it, and I felt fine. You know, I didn't feel as though there was anything wrong with me. My energy levels were fine, but then when self decode said that um, through my methylation pathways um, is something that I don't handle very well. I then had blood work done. The blood work came back and proved actually that, well, the MD said I was in the normal range. Mm -hmm. So I was like 290 and the range was in the in UK is 200 to 900. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Mayo Clinic says optimally you want to be between five and six. When mm -hmm. I started um, then supplementing with hydroxyl B12, my surge in energy was incredible, but I knew no different. So I think sometimes for things like things that affect inflammation or energy levels, I think sometimes your genes can be quite a good indicator, but then you probably need to then back that up with some kind of blood work or a gut microbiome test or something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect, actually, the way that you used it. That's how I recommend everyone use it. That's how I used it in part. I mean, I've used it in more than one way, but mm. I've used it in that way. And when we're talking about, let's say, my girlfriend, she also had a very interesting story. She actually used it twice. First, she used it to fix her mood. She looked at her mood report. She saw supplements, you know, certain pathways were, that were suboptimal, and she took supplements that were recommended, and her mood issues went away the next day. I saw it firsthand, but it's something that I wouldn't believe if, if I heard it from someone else, right? Yeah. It's very, like, it was, it was hard for me to believe that, but I saw it, like, firsthand. So, it, like, she had mood issues for a year, and lifelong, really, but I knew her for a year at the time. And then all of a sudden, from one day to the next, they just completely went away. And mm -hmm. so that was a massive difference. And then what happened, she was having other issues later on. She took the similar approach here that you just did, she, she looked at her genetics and she found hey, she has this genetic predisposition for higher testosterone. And she looked at some of her symptoms. She read on self-hack. She, she, she read up that, hey, if you have lower estradiol or like basically her uh, ratio wasn't necessarily good, like high testosterone, low estradiol. She read symptoms of that. And then she also, she said, okay, let me take some blood tests. The doctor said that they were normal, but mm -hmm. actually... When she put them into lab test analyzer, they were not normal. They were they were suboptimal, and so it's the same situation. They were genetics, took labs, did experiments, and felt a lot better. And and the truth is is that sometimes you'll do experiments. You know, if I'm playing devil's advocate, I'm not I'm not going to say that it's going to be a hundred percent, right? Mm -hmm. the, the the thing is, it narrows it down more than otherwise. Essentially, you might have some issue. You say, okay, what could this be? You do some research, you do some preliminary reading, whatever. You say, okay, let me look at my genes, see if there's any genes associated with this, do more reading there. And then you say, okay, let me try to see if there's uh, you know, anything in the blood that correlates, whether it's B12, it could be homocysteine, if it's MTHFR or anything. Uh, in her case, it was hormonal. So you want to see if there's anything that you can check for in your blood. Sometimes not, right? In which case, you'll skip that step and go straight to doing some experiments. But most of the time, you want to take some kind of blood test, make sure everything in your blood is normal, or yeah. see what is suboptimal mm. and see if that can relate anyway to your genetics. In any case, either way, you have to then say, okay, based on the genetics, based on my symptoms, let me try this. And then if it, you know, in your case, it worked. In Eliana's case, my girlfriend, it worked.